I love that we've made those baskets bigger. <laughs> I think it's adorable. So this morning, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach a little, little bit about science, but the message is about what we learn every time we come to church about how Jesus forgives our sins. Isn't it amazing that when we follow him and we begin to believe in him, that he just comes in to our hearts and he just cleans everything up, right? Do you guys know that? Are you over here with me? <laughs> okay, so today I have three glasses here. This one represents you and me. When we're born and we have no sin in our life, isn't it nice? It's clear. You can see through it, right? This one represents Jesus. You can see through it. It's kind of a special. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see how special it is in a minute. But this one, that's sin. That's when sin comes in and makes everything dark and dingy looking, right? So as I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this right here. Hopefully you can still hear me. When we're little and we don't have any sin, it's pretty clear. But I will say this. I'm going to do this because I know these don't pour very nicely. But when sin enters in, all of a sudden, oh, thank you. All of a sudden, it's not so clear anymore, huh? We have stain. That's what happens to our hearts when sin comes in. It's not, it's not, we're not transparent. We're not pure anymore. But here's the good news. And this is what you can tell all your friends. Because when Jesus comes in, and we add Jesus in, oh, look at that. It takes that sin away. It takes the stain away. And you know what? You know what's really cool? Is that after that, even if we have a little sin, we can ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness is always there. And you know what the coolest thing about all of this is? Remember this was Jesus? Yeah. There's no sin in him. Sin doesn't change him. There's no power of sin in him. And that's how we know that when we ask Jesus to come into our hearts, I can take that out, thank you. When we ask Jesus to come into our hearts, he can clean everything up as if it never happened. And then we get to move on from there and tell everybody else the good news about what can happen when we ask Jesus into our hearts. Do you guys want to ask Jesus into your heart right now? Absolutely. Let's stand and pray about that. Can you stand with me and pray? Okay, I'm going to let you pray and ask Jesus in. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. And can you clear everyone's heart with joy and help everyone to be glad in your heart and let us play for all our lives in your name. Amen. Amen. I love your prayers.